Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your English teacher, Razan Karawan. Uh, today we will be revising lesson one from unit 10, which is in your student book on page 96. And from the title, uh, it's clearly about anything that you find in the sea. And uh, we have many creatures that live in the sea like, well done, like fish, coral reefs, sea turtles, and many other things. And uh, before we uh, start with our lesson, we will remember some of the important vocabularies that were mentioned in that lesson. Uh, so let's read them together and please repeat them after me so that you make sure you correct them, uh, you spell them correctly, sorry. Coral reef, ecosystem, endangered, keep track of, marine, shell, specialize, cue, reptiles, dive, aquarium. Well done. Now we will discuss each word's meaning. The first one, coral reef, it means an area of coral, the top of which can sometimes be seen just above the sea. You can see it sometimes uh, above the sea or you can see it at the bottom of the sea. Ecosystem means all the living things in an area in which they affect each other, any things that live in an area and they affect each other. The things, الأحياء التي تعيش في منطقة معينة, تعيش في نظام B. Ecosystem means نظام B. Endangered, seriously, at risk. Keep track of, it means to keep fully aware of something. And if you keep track of something, you make sure to know about uh, what's happening or what has happened to it. So when you keep track of, uh, so it means when you keep track of things or people, that means uh, the opposite of to lose track of something. Marine. It means related to the sea or sea transport, but here let's concentrate on anything that it, that is related to the sea. It means in Arabic, Bahri. Okay, shell, it means uh, the hard outer covering of something, especially nuts, eggs, and some animals like the uh, turtle's shell, as I said. Specialize, it means to study or work in a particular subject. When you study study something, uh, it means that you are special, specialized in it. Q, a line or sequence of people awaiting their turn to be attended or to, be, to proceed. Q, when you align yourself so that you wait for something. Tabur, excellent. Reptiles, it means the group of scaly animals like snakes and lizards. Well done, great. Dive, it means to swim underwater or to go deeply, to go deeply into the sea. Aquarium, it means a building that holds sea creatures. The building that you find some sea creatures uh, living there. Okay. And here we have some sentences uh, using these vocabulary. The first one, the ship crashed against some coral reefs. The second one, I saw many marine creatures live in a huge aquarium. Here we used marine and aquarium, marine. Uh, marine creatures, creatures means مخلوقات مارين بحري مخلوقات بحرية تعيش في حوض مائي كبير aquarium okay the third one all these sea creatures belong to a natural to a natural ecosystem excellent the fourth he can dive under the water for hours he can swim deep into water for hours Number five, can you keep track of the listening audio? Can you keep track of the listening audio? It means, uh, are you sure that you know what's happening? Okay. Number six, when turtles face any danger, they hide into their shells. 
The last one, I wish I were a marine biologist. Biologist, it means someone who study biology, right? But marine biology, it means علم الأحياء البحرية. Well done. Now here we have the diary. And we said in that diary, uh, uh, that diary, I mean, it was wrote, it was written, sorry, it was written by a girl uh, who was inspired by Dr. Janine LeBlanc. And Janine LeBlanc was a marine biologist. And that girl wishes, uh, the, and that girl wishes she were a marine biologist too. And she said that Dr. LeBlanc, um, uh, showed her some photos of her uh, underwater expeditions and uh, she was really interested in that uh, in these uh, uh, she was very interested about these photos and uh, that doctor is specialized in studying anything that lives underwater like what like the coral reefs and some of the uh, animals like turtles or hawksbill turtles and these uh, hawksbill turtles are really endangered because they lost uh, most of uh, their population because or due to uh, excess hunting uh, of people who hunt them for their uh, eggs shells and meat and uh, Dr. LaPlanck wishes that people understood how important these animals are in maintaining a healthy ocean and to preserve the ocean's ecosystem uh, and uh, at the end at the end um, that girl wishes she were old enough to study marine biology and she would prefer to travel and see the world and the water and that's all. Uh, please uh, read it uh, uh, again and again so that you understand it fully. And uh, remember to memorize uh, these, uh, uh, these words in bold uh, by heart so that you can answer any question in the exam. Here we have some questions related to the previous test, text. Sorry. And uh, let's read the questions and answer them together. The first one, what is Dr. Janine LeBlanc's profession? What is Dr. Janine's job? Excellent, she is a marine biologist, well done. Number two, what did Dr. Janine normally do in her, in her job? Okay, let's go back to the, to the diary. Here, yes, here it is. In her job, she gets to travel around the, uh, around the world swimming in the coral reefs where sea turtles live, she is working to protect the endangered hawksbill turtle. So you can write until here. Let's go back. Number three, why did people hunt reptiles or the, or the, uh, the turtles? Yes, they hunt them for their eggs, meats and their shells. Well done. Number four, what is Dr. Janine's wish? Let's go and find the answer. Dr. Janine's wish, it's here, yes. Dr. J Dr. LeBlanc wishes people understood how important these animals are in maintaining a healthy ocean. Well done. Number five, what is the writer's wish? Now let's look for the writer's wish. Here it is. I wish I were old enough to go to college now. Why? To study marine biology. Yes. And is the writer interested in marine biology? Fabulous. Yes, she is. Here are the answers for the previous questions. And that's all. I hope that everything is clear to you. If you have any question, please uh, send me a message. And inshallah, we will meet soon or we will meet on uh, Wednesday uh, for your exam. But before Wednesday, on Tuesday, we will have another session discussing the rule, wishes and if only. Uh, or I wish and if only uh, so please be prepared prepared for your exam and study well and I hope you or I wish you the best of luck thank you very much